Hey, it's JC1424 once again with Gran Turismo 4. And in this episode of our GT Mode playthrough, part 91, we're doing some more One Make Races. This time we're going back to America. Last episode we did the Motegi 8 Hour Endurance, the longest one that was left available in that section of the game right now. And I didn't plan on using a Honda Civic race car that we got as a prize car. It was like 1987, but it just wasn't quite there because the competition was just killing it on tire wear with all their tuner cars. So I got rid of that and we bought a brand new Subaru Impreza WRX STI from 2002. And I plan to use that as well pretty soon for a one make race. But after winning that, we had enough credits to buy this Pescarolo Courage C60 Peugeot race car from 2003. And that's the car I actually planned to end the game with at a Le Mans 24 hour. And not to mention, it's French as well. But it's got this dark blue, this fluorescent lime green paint job. And it, it should be up to par with what cars show up in those events. But we're at 66.3% game completion right now. We should be getting to 67 today. And as well as 25,000 A-spec points. And the reason I think this will be paying so freaking much is because I was looking back at an episode of Rhino GT4's Gran Turismo 4 Let's Play, back when he did his in like 2013. And we're going into Shelby, which I guess I shouldn't be too surprised that this is in America and not UK or something. But you can't buy the freaking Cobra without spending a ridiculous amount of money. So it's cheaper to get this car, which is already expensive. It's the Shelby Series 1 Supercharged, which we did race against in the El Capitan 200 miles. Remember, I brought out that tuned up BMW Z4. But... I mean, the base color is silver on every single one of them, but then you get black stripes, red stripes, blue stripes, white stripes. I don't think it really matters what color I go with, but I'll go ahead with red, and then we'll sell it afterwards because this is the only situation I'm going to use this car in, and I'm losing a lot of money. Almost all they have left in the bank after buying that freaking Peugeot Pescarolo car. I think we're also going to have to go into the Shelby Tune Shop and buy some nitrous, because that's what Rhino did. It didn't seem like it was possible without it. It's just an extra 5,000 credits, though. So we're down to 70,000 credits. I swear we haven't seen a number that low since before we did 1,000 miles, at least. But we're all souped up and ready to go into these one-make races. The Shelby Cobra Cup, you know, because the Cobra is the branding of the car. Requires the IB license, which makes sense. These are muscle cars and supercars, whatever. Five single races. We haven't had three single race events in a while because I think we ran out of them. But 10,000 credits per win. So that's five races, 50,000. Plus what we have right now, we'll get back up to 120,000. So that's good. And selling cars and stuff, we'll be fine, I promise. Also, there's a Mustang GT. 350R allowed in here, but that's the Shelby. It's not a Ford. But, I mean, Ford made the same damn car. I don't know why it freaking matters. I wish they allowed the Mustang Cobra from Ford in here, but it's, it's not a Shelby. First up is Seattle Circuit Reverse for two laps. There is something that I find very stupid about this event. And you'll see what it is whenever I pull up the lineup. They're all driving the same car in the same color. In Gran Turismo 3, it came in a bunch of different colors. In this game, it does not. I don't know why. If you want to buy it from AC cars in UK or whatever, then you get it in different colors. I don't know why that is, but you're not allowed to use the AC 427 or whatever it's called there. Here, It should be, because then I might get it, even though it's stupid expensive. I mean, it's like a 300,000 or 400,000 credit price car versus this that was... Almost 200,000. Yeah, 200 point race. And they're saying that we're unmatched. That we're just not even competent. But I got NOS. So, can yeah, we get up on that NOS? And slow it down for this curve right here. We'll just be able to hang on to him in the straights because of the NOS. Now it comes down to the corners and everything. I just have to outdrive him there. Hard to make sure I'm actually in the right gear because I have the TV volume on six, my new TV, like I always do. But that doesn't seem to do with this car. So I hate whenever cars just vary with how loud they are. It was all the same volume, 
just so you ain't got to worry about not being able to hear shifting in the gears here. I got to curve left and right all the freaking damn time and I'm down the gear, up the gear, down the gear. It's just stupid confusing. And we're already up to third to get off the NOS and onto the brakes. Uh, I feel like I could get early on the brakes to actually make this car do what I want. Okay, let's get back on the NOS. I ain't wanting to go off the damn corner. I can see this guy coming up behind me in my ears. I can see him in my ears. That's how good the sound is in this game. They let you know when they're coming back. Uh, okay, we're getting away. Doing all right. This guy in the lead, he's got some kind of clean air advantage. I, I don't know what it is, but he ain't slow like everybody else. It's like we pulled away from them and we drove off, but this guy, he's holding his own. That was some big air. We're getting the big airs. And right up behind him. Almost kissed his ass. And I am going to send it on him in this first corner. We haven't even used up all the first half of the NOS in this first lap. We got two laps. We'll be alright. Keep on missing shifts and stuff because this car is accelerating so much faster than it should be. And that's just what NOS does for you. I mean, even though I'm using the NOS right now, he still drives right back up to me. Ow! I didn't need that. I really did not need that. How do you shift down? Not look back. I, I try to, but I'm trying to get away, so... More focused on him than I am the corner. Sounds like some Denny Hamlin garbage. Okay, come on. Let's get back over there. I thought I was just going to be able to relax for a lap, but no, that is not the case. And this car does not rotate the way I want it to. Well, their cars are smaller, so that makes sense. I got this big, hefty thing. Okay, on to the NOS. I'm in his slipstream. Look at that clock tower. I never noticed that clock tower. I'm going to have to zoom in on so you guys can see it because I'm sure y'all never did either. Okay, off the NOS, undo the brakes. Ah, I can't make a clean pass for the lead because the car doesn't turn. There's a lot of things this car doesn't do as good as theirs. Because of the size and the fact it doesn't have natural horsepower. I don't know why they went making like a, a much newer car at Shelby and made like this supercar, but still not as good as the Cobra. 27. Like, what's the point? I'm trying to make this brand new awesome car, but then you don't make it as good as your previous works from years and years ago. It's like they didn't want to beat it. But, alright. It's being stupid. Oh my god, it's being fucking stupid. Stop being fucking stupid. Let me win the race, god damn it. First you crash into one thing because I can't focus. Now I come up to jump and the car is turning to the wall. Once it does that, you know that it's going to keep doing that. Let's get away. Let's go away. It's gonna be hard to win all these damn races with this car doing like shit. But, this is just Seattle. You got these damn jumps where you don't fling your car into things. But, you get those 200 A spec points. Those are very much earned 200 A spec points. On to the next race. There's our first 10,000 credits. And now we're going to high speed ring. Reverse for two laps. Why is everything backwards? I mean, we don't have much natural speed, so I'm gonna be using NOS. The entire damn time. There's your lineup. Nothing new. Same shit. They're just showing off the track in the background like always. Gotta love high speed ring. Past few times we've raced here, it's been reverse. I think we came here for some kind of German thing. Okay, not getting too much wheel spin. Now we'll hop on the nitrous. We're missing the shifts and the screen is flipping out. The the game is spazzing. Okay, catch up to these guys in the corners. Okay, now get back on the NOS. Although well, we found a weak spot for them. They were so strong at the front stretch. Now we're here and they're not. I'm getting crushed into the wall. I deserve it. I'm not sure why, I just do. That's the game we're playing. That's how the game is supposed to make you feel. Well, they're just so damn terrible at the corners that I just use the NOS in the straights to not fall behind too much. And the draft helps a little bit as well. But they're just so damn bad in the corners. It's not like my car is good or anything. They like said 200 A spec point race. That's because of the cars. But like they don't know how to drive their cars. So take them into these corners and they've always sucked at this track. Ever since we started the damn series, this has been like the worst track for the AI. For no particular reason. It's not even hard. It's like an easy track, but they just have no pace in the corners. Well, I'll be driving slow cars, and they'll be driving way slower than me. 
in my slow car. Now we're in fast cars, and that just enhances everything. Now we're gonna drive slow, and we have bigger gaps with these fast cars. See now, I have no draft I'm using my NOS. That's, that's our first lap complete. See how big of a lead I can create despite having an inferior car. Very much inferior. And off the final curve. Look at the speeds this car is reaching. I've been using NOS the entire time. Except for the corners and curves and shit. We win this one by 8 seconds. Gain 5 seconds in the final lap. I don't know why I was threatened by high speed ring. I neglect that they have no pace there. Like, how do you forget that? And now we're going to New York. Reverse? No, we're going forward for once. A nice game. Two laps. Some rather short races for requiring the IB license. I get these cars are tough, but then I figured they want us to drive them longer. Otherwise, it's still a license shit. And like I was trying to say, this car we raced against in El Capitan 200 miles, and that required the A license. But yeah, 200 A spec point race. This is a good shot to really look at the two different cars and see just how nice they are. I mean, the Cobra 427 still looks better for its time. And this one, by the time this car came out, I don't think it's really that cool in the first place. I mean, it's a supercar. It's... It's got that shit. But as far as looks go, not really. Okay, let's get on them brakes. Like these corners. Because we, all we have at this track, in my opinion, is like these really long straights. So we have a lot to worry about right here. Yeah, we'll put it up to third gear. And at first I was trying to constantly hold down the NOS with my index finger. And then make my upshifts with my middle finger. And that was causing hand cramps. So... Now I'm, oh god. <laughs> I guess I should have expected that. The brakes never work there in any car, and the brakes work even less in this one. And they do that themselves. They expect the brakes to work, too. We're all in it here, okay? We all have the same problems. It's We're all in this together. <laughs> oh my god. Once again, the leader with the clean air. Was that necessary? Dude, stop it. I was trying to make a point that I didn't want the hand cramps, so now... I, I hold the NOS with my index finger, and then I get off the NOS to shift and get back on it. Which sucks, it means I have to stop using the NOS. STOP TOUCHING ME! MOTHERFUCKER! See, this is what I'm talking about, I can't upshift because I gotta get my finger off the NOS, and I don't want to do that. This MOTHERFUCKER! BITCH! Stop ramming me into everything. Okay, slow it down. Gotta find my way around you. Now oh, the car won't turn. Now it'll turn you. Ricochet off the wall, then it'll turn. Ugh! It's not what it's hard! Ugh! I mean, a tough-ass race to win. I think we should be able to win this race as long as we actually make that 90-degree uh, corner in a few seconds. Okay. Here we go. Let's get on the brakes right there. And let's turn to the apex. Let's use that NOS. I'm almost out of NOS, and I'm not even in first! goddamn track with its long ass straights about down to one more bar not yet but I'm getting there I just gotta take that lead before we run out okay now we're down to one bar okay now I'm gonna stay up to NOS for this section of the track sneak it to him there we go now I'm not gonna use the NOS right here I have to mirror drive this if he comes up behind me He's got horsepower, he's got draft, so he's gonna try some shit. Yeah, he's gonna go to the outside, but that's not an advantage into this corner. Look at the little globe thing over there. I mean, I know that's in New York. Whenever you hit the damn wall because the car oversteers. And half the damn time it's not steering. And now we'll get on the nuts. Honestly, I thought I was gonna lose this race for a second. I'm like, you know, they really suck at that one corner. And if they didn't, then I wouldn't be winning this. And we used all the nuts. And we're going to win it by 0.8 seconds. So, now we've picked up, what is that, 600 A-spec points? I mean, having to use NOS in general makes my hand cramp up. 
It's like my hands are getting all sweaty from doing this shit. That and the fact I turn off the air conditioner because it makes noise in my videos. I should be used to my hands cramping up because I used to play Guitar Hero with this thing. But, no, nothing changes. Next up, Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca for two laps. Is everything two laps? It's a good thing. This car sucks at steering and braking. Prevents me from keeping it after I've done with all this shit. I didn't even want to get it in the first place, but we had to get this car for the game completion. I couldn't get one of those cars because I spent so much on the, the Pescarolo Courage C60 Peugeot race car. And even then, if I had enough, I don't think I would have wanted to buy one of these because I would just use it one time and I even get to customize if I had this lame blue with silver stripes color. Okay. Got a Yahoo sign back there. I, I saw a purple sign with yellow letters on it and I didn't actually read it. I'm going to see that whenever I pull into that corner next time. Remind me, remind me to look at purple sign. Car, what are you doing? Can't you just take the corner normally? You gotta get on the brakes early, otherwise car won't do what I ask. I gotta shift up and I gotta get off the NOS, but I, like, I don't want to get off the NOS, so I just stay on the NOS and never shift up and it's just dumb. This guy won't stop getting in my way and blocking my corner. How am I gonna win this race? Look how far behind I am just getting into fit. Oh my goodness. Turn, turn! I got on the brakes early and you're not turning. I feel like all this damn game is is buying cars and then not feeling like I can turn with them. And for once, I got some peace from that with the, the Subaru Impreza, but I had to do that for eight hours. So, like, pfft, is that really that much better? Uh, trying to close the gap with the corkscrew. I don't see us winning this race. We are so far behind. I mean, they're all driving off the track, so that's a help. Well, not all of them. Two of them. Okay. That's a clean pass to get up to fourth. I want to get up to third right here. Yeah, there's a purple sign over here. This, yeah, that's a, a Yahoo Sports sign. Huh. Okay, I'll put it in second gear. Onto the NOS. Up to third gear. Onto the NOS. The leader is disgustingly far away. 3.4 seconds. Fuck off. Fuck off. I am using my NOS. Fuck off. Some bullshit. Okay, I guess I'm going to pass you. Get, get him. Get him. Car, turn. Like, what? I'm using some guy up, and I still can't turn. This is ridiculous. Uh, trying to get this car to function. So far behind. This is so bullshit. Uh, turn. <laughs> turn. Turn the fucking car. I would really appreciate it. Can we turn here? Thank you. I feel like I'm underdoing the hell out of everything, and only half the time does it actually work. Okay, get off the NOS. Make this corner. Grab that curve. Grab it good, honey. <sighs> All right. Let's just make the corkscrew. All fine and dandy. Okay. Now let's get onto that NOS. Let's just keep on driving. Good. Don't worry about him. He'll drive off the track and shit. Yeah, there we go. Let's dodge him, though. Let's let's dodge him. Let's make this corner. I feel like I'm barely making any of these damn corners. Okay, and they're going to suck at the hairpin. They always suck at all these really tight ones. Okay. Down to first gear, up to second gear, then up to third gear really quickly. And I'm trying to use Manas, and I can't because I have to keep on shifting gears. But we got it. And again, win by .7 seconds. That's closer than the other one. Ow! My hands! Okay, one ten thousand credit prize, and we will be at 120,000. That's got to be the third damn race that we've seen start to finish in this video. We don't have that very often. These guys are tough, and this car sucks my hairy pickle. But our last race of the Shelby Cobra Cup is Trial Mountain Reverse. It's always ass backwards with this event. Two laps. Last time we came to this track for the cross fire trophy it was reverse and the time before that with the euro hot hatch league it was reverse and this time it's reverse why is it always reverse i can't remember the last time we came to this track forward 
Although this video footage in the background is of the forward version of the track. They're going through the track that way. We're going this way. It's a dead start. Although we had rolling starts here. I mean, that's just going to make this race this much easier to win. I'm surprised we didn't actually do much of a burnout right there. I didn't use the NOS because I knew that would kind of hold us back a bit. Okay, well, I'm already up to fourth gear, but I ain't got anywhere to go because they're driving so slow. Okay, get down to third gear. I'm trying to get into third gear, but by default, I keep on trying to shift into fourth when it just makes no sense to me. Ugh. Okay, what's the problem here? Is it the steering is so bad the brakes don't work? Or is it the, the brakes are so bad the, the steering doesn't work? Like, I'm not sure. Is that even such a thing? Or do they just both really suck? Because I feel like the brakes suck and the car sucks the steering. It's like I got down to what I think is the right speed and then it still doesn't turn. And sometimes I can't even get it down to the right speed. So there's that. I am constantly over revving this car. I'm always having to shift down to that that perfect point and then get right back up to it again. And I just want to use the damn NOS. Okay, let's get on them brakes. Let's make the corner. And also, the gears of this car are really freaking short. We're staying at high speeds because of these guys. I would be even using an NOS and it would drive just regular pace and would have to go through the gears so damn much. I wasn't racing around these damn Cobras and I wasn't buying NOS to compete with them. Okay. I mean, is it correct to call them Cobras whenever this is the Shelby Cobra Cup, so basically every car is a Cobra? But then the specific manufacturer is Shelby. Can you stop rubbing your ass cheeks on my face, fucker? I would really appreciate it. Okay, I'll shift up to fourth gear. If the car keeps wanting to, but I shift up and then I'm hitting the brakes. It's like, what the point? Okay, there we go. Oh, I, I don't know what to do. I, I don't know what to do with the car right now. <laughs> I, I'm just totally freaking lost. Because this guy will not stop harassing me. The guy that starts first place is always very much fast in the way and I get to him he's putting one last fight up I think you go left you go right you go left will you leave me alone how about that bitch leave me alone I am so done with this shit fuck this car fuck these cars I'm racing with fuck it all I am so glad this is over okay Give me the prize card. And there it is. A classic. The Mustang GT 350R. 1965. It's beautiful, white, radical body. The blue racing stripes. We'll take it somewhere in extended footage, but I don't think we actually have a use for this in any of the events remaining in the game. But uh, there you go. 67.2% game completion, and we gain a whole 1,000 A-spec points. Take one last look at this cute little car that's been an absolute nuisance to drive. I think it still would have been a nuisance whether or not we were going up against those Cobra 427s, but the sale price is 39,200 credits. I feel like it should be worth more in like the 60,000 area because I spent 184,000 on it, correct? Okay, now I want to go to UK. And we're going to take a look at this AC Cars 427, I guess. Uh, yeah, that is what it's called. It is the same car. It is literally the, the exact same car. Color, paint job, and all that. I mean, maybe they put the steering wheel on a different side. I don't freaking know. The other one's American, so it should be on the left, right? But yeah, this one comes in all these different colors. You got without the stripes not the same exact blue but you know without stripes princess blue any others with stripes get okay, red with white stripes i mean that's already just so much cooler i would i would have bought this but it's not allowed and i guess those are the only two colors with stripes yeah but th these are some really nice colors to get that car in but it didn't just don't count i, I don't get this crap that should have been the car in the shelby dealership with that color selection but instead, in the Shelby dealership, you get no freaking color selection. Well, thanks for watching this episode of the GT Mode playthrough on Gran Turismo 4. I guess tomorrow I'll go ahead and do that European classic car 
league that I've been talking about. I can't use that AC427 we were just looking at because I don't even have enough credits to buy that. And I would want to spend that much. I thought maybe it was like way cheaper than the American version, but no, not at all. See you next time. That's that and episode over.